Okay, this is an interesting side of Chinese life. I'm not sure how well you'll see it at night. But in the evenings when it's not raining, when the weather's not too screaming hot, and because the weather's not too screaming hot in the evenings, a lot of the older generation and younger generation as well will come out to these little public areas and they'll learn little dance routines and they'll do these dance routines. There's no charge for any of this. It's just a way of getting people out, getting exercise, which is exactly what I'm doing right now. All right, we're back at my favorite little neighborhood shopping center just to see what it looks like at night. And as you can see, it's quite a bit different. All of these little lights during the daytime aren't lit up, so they don't look nearly as impressive, nor do you even notice the lights hanging in the trees. This is not for a special event. This is not for a holiday of any kind. This is just a Friday night. It's just a normal day of the week here in China. Um, you can't see it from here, but all the way up this building are multicolored lights and there's text messages going up and down in Chinese, of course. From a distance, they're readable, but uh, from where we're standing right now, they're not. Now here's something cute too. I saw this the last time I was here, but it wasn't operating at that time. And this is just a nice little cute, slow moving, uh, well lit Ferris wheel for the kids, for the kitties. There's only one little kitty on there right now, but she's having fun. But then, again, this is just a common activity in China. Lots of bright lights everywhere. And if you look straight ahead here, these uh, interesting statues of the unicorn with wings, um, the interesting snake-like plant are all very well lit up, as are the buildings. It's very festive. It's very nice. And as you can see, we've got a much larger group of folks over here dancing and exercising, which is very, very cool. Now, there's no charge to do these activities. There are men and women here today. And there are people in professional uniforms who actually know the dances that teach the people. They provide the uh, loudspeakers and they teach all the exercises. There are men and women in there, but they are typically the older generation. It's still very cool. This is the evening in China. Isn't that freaking cool? Here comes the little uh, reindeer car again. Just going in little circles at very low speed. The kids like it. There's also little activities like this where the kids just sit inside, turn the wheel. Vehicle moves back and forth very slowly. That lady was much too close, but uh, she didn't hit me. I can't really complain. Let's, let's move around a bit and see what else we can find. Isn't this cool? The wife wants to take part in these, but um, she's typically too busy doing her stuff to actually come out and do anything. Let's, let's go walk in the mall here and see what we can find. Very nice breeze blowing through the buildings right now. This is lovely. It's like Christmas, it really is. And this is all just put up and maintained by the building management here. That's part of what the building management fees that are paid by the tenants goes towards, which is pretty freaking awesome. And any little shops like this will still be open at this time of night because obviously there are people wandering around. They will sell coffee. They will sell jewelry or whatever else they may sell.
Here's my favorite little coffee shore, store, of course. No tea coffee. I don't want to get run over by my friends here. Though I am not having any coffee tonight, I do want to sleep. Like I said, it feels like Christmas. <laughs> this is a neat sign. Don't know if you can make out the fitness sign there. It says, Phil Nice, fitness will be. I couldn't agree more. Across the way there, we've got Le Cesar Pizza Joint, famous for their durian pizza. If you don't know what durian is, you're better off. Uh, durian is a very famous fruit. It's called the king of fruits, uh, typically from Thailand. It smells like ass, people. There is no other way to describe it. It is illegal to bring durian fruit on international flights or even local flights inside of Thailand. It literally smells like ass little ice cream shop here and coffee of course a little snacky poo shop over here and once again not quite so brilliantly lit up over here but we've got the uh, unicorn pegasus these little lamps here it's just awesome across the way is the King Key Hotel. Let's wander over that way and see what kind of cool stuff we can find over there. Candy shop, I will stay away. I certainly do not need any candy. Lots of people sitting outside tonight, enjoying coffees, food, especially in a little place like this. This is a, a cool little hangout. Um, for those of you familiar with Edmonton, Alberta in Canada. This reminds me a lot of uh, the feel, if not the look, of uh, White Avenue and the White Avenue area. There are public bathrooms here in case you got a piddle. And with all the beer drinking that goes on here, I'm sure there would be some piddling. Ooh, this is looking funky over here. Every place has got their own little set of decorations. These funky little trees over here. I hear music everywhere. I just finished my first kilometer. Obviously I'm not walking tremendously fast tonight and that's perfectly fine. I'm in no rush. I'm just trying to get a little exercise. And share a little bit of the nightlife of southern china with you this is in longgang district again this is not a touristy area at all uh, across the street is the traditional medicine hospital the moon up above sparkly lights everywhere and it's just all meant to attract people to say hey come hang out here spend a little money buy a few snacks have a beer In the good old days, back when I was a younger man, I would have loved to have found a little place to just sit down and have a beer outside with a friend or two, or even just by myself. But everything's so well lit and beautiful. Those are not fake flowers, by the way. Those are real flowers. Please don't pick the flowers. continue onward this way show you something nifty <clears throat> they even make the uh, online order drop-off locations look snazu I mean look at this look at this here oh and this is an intelligent store this is interesting this is new to me in this one this is for people that need water where do you need the big 19 gallon jugs a five liter jug. Oh, sorry, those are 12 liters there. Or you need a pack of water. You scan your barcode, the door opens, you take your water. Isn't that funky? This is the uh, package pickup over here. Again, 
you scan your phone, the door opens, you take your goodies. There's Last Caesar once again and good old Mai Dong Lao McDonald's. To this day, I still haven't eaten there, at least not in China. Let's go on to the interior of this uh, complex and see what we can find. But I love this. There's a giant bench here. My good old buddy Filippo and I, this would have been a prime location for him and I to pop over to one of the little convenience stores, buy a couple packs of crisps, a uh, couple of bottles of beer each. And we just sit there for the evening, enjoying the breeze, enjoying each other's company, chatting, talking, having a couple beers. No need to spend a bunch of money going to a bar or a fancy restaurant. Oh, this little hallway is divine. The wind is amazing. It's not super windy outside, but when you get these little causeways going through, uh oh you don't hear sirens very often in China, so when people hear them, they do tend to draw a lot of attention. This is the square in front of the hotel. And as you can see, again with the fancy lights and the plants and the little good luck dude over there. Lights all the way around the plaza. Got a little bar over here where you can have a beer. You can sit outside these little tables. We've got naked babies running around in the fountains, but hey, why not? Again, very cute. In the daytime, these aren't even turned on, but at nighttime, they have little lights going on, as you can see. Fun for the kids. Anybody living in the area, this is a fun place to bring the kiddies. Keeps them cool. Dad can pop over here, have a beer or two. Everybody's happy. Again, have coffee shops, and all sorts of little things around here. Very, very cool. I'm going to continue onward, and we'll take a look at the next complex and see how that goes. All right, another little nifty display here with uh, lights, stars, moons, all hanging above. And these people have discovered that they're in a walking area, not in a driving area, so they don't know how to get down. And you know what? I'm gonna go upstairs. I'm gonna go up there and see what we can find. All right, here's a little overview of the area we were just in. The water has just turned off. I'm not sure if it's the time of day or if it just periodically does that for fun. But where we're going is over here little crosswalk. China is big on crosswalks. If there's any way to make it safer for people to cross the road, they really do do their best to try to make that happen. Let's go. This is uh, KK City on the other side, which I believe is King Key as well. Let's go see what we got going on in this part of the mall. And this is all just a few blocks away from home. Again, public bathrooms available if you gotta have a pee. If you're good at squatting, go ahead and have a poop. Hell, have two, they're small, right? <laughs> Depends who you're talking to. All very well lit. It's one thing that I've heard more from local people and foreigners than anything else about China is you feel safe. There is security everywhere. There aren't necessarily police everywhere. There are cameras everywhere, but everything is well lit. And I've never once felt in danger or even at risk while living in China. God. Isn't that cool? Moon dream. Moon Dream, whatever it is, is closed for the evening. Oh, and here's the gym. Okay, so this is the uh, fitness center that they were talking about. I'm sure if they, if there's any salespeople working, they'll see my big old butt walking by. I'm running out, trying to get me to go in there and uh, 
help me to gen face wings weight but uh we're not gonna be working on that at the moment so this is kk city let's go over here and see what we got down below same type of setup as the other place got the fountains lots of lovely little restaurants greek up i'm not sure greek up is but uh i'm down i'm greek up greek greek down get her finished it's like up here that looks almost looks like a gym but it's hard to say could very well be another gym could be a yoga studio and you see some lovely young ladies sitting up there looking a bit sweaty furniture store that's the beauty or is this a furniture store or is this a oh this is definitely a furniture store it's amazing what you'll see in just the strangest of places around here let's see, let's see here what do we got on this side here a new little attention store coming open looks like they're going to be doing some kind of presentations the golden eggs there that's a way to get people in the door when uh you win a prize you smash the golden egg with a hammer and you get to keep whatever's to the side kind of cool the shang li fight club that's kind of cool looks like an mma gym who knew i had an mma gym in my neighborhood very cool heart just gonna go over here and see what we find very quiet tonight very nice i'm still sweating like a pig but that's normal this is just a little overview of the construction over here uh right over straight ahead of where i'm pointing now about 100 meters is the subway station from there i can take the super high speed 300 kilometer an hour subway all across town I can go to my old neighborhood. I can go to Pachang Bay, my favorite place in the universe, and all manner of other places on that high-speed train for a couple of bucks. Not even actually, a buck and a quarter. There's no way down over here to go and see what we've got downstairs. I guess we're gonna have to do it the hard way. Well, not the hard way, but the long way. No way I go. Well, everyone, I'm at the end of my walk. As you can see, I've got my little friend behind me here. And I'm gonna do something that I haven't done in many, many years. And that is, I've bought myself a can of Qingdao beer. I'm sitting in the square that I was just walking through with my little friend behind me. I'm gonna crack a can of beer, enjoy the breeze, de-sweat myself after actually doing some exercise. I've been going up and downstairs and doing a lot of walking, so, uh, cheers, everyone. Thank you for joining me today. I'm going to enjoy this lovely Qingdao beer while it's still cold, while the breeze is blowing, and I'll make my way home. Y'all have a good night. Zai Jen.